you have been warned we are going to be talking about my hands on impressions right. with let's see what the vibes is today and oh Look at that. Oh, we don't want to know anything. If you don't want to hear anything regarding spoilers, this may not be the video for you. Oh, uh, chat, he said the spoilers. He said the spoilers. So, side mission. If you're excited to learn about how incredible Wait, Spider-Verse side mission. Characters like Lizard and Craven are in this game. Well, here we go. We're going to get into it. Oh, hey, turn it up. All right, I got you. I got you. I did. I got it turned up. Thanks to the folks at PlayStation Canada for inviting I got it turned up. He probably just he probably got his volume low. With the game. I got to play it for quite a couple of hours. I pretty much got to see the entire open world. At least I got to explore and free roam what was new and that that was amazing and I also got to check out a ton of new story related things. Let me just jump in. Yeah, he got to turn low. He got a low. I imagine a lot of people want to know about and that's specifically the traversal. There was so much discourse regarding whether or not Peter has new Tur swing animation. I I got it turned up. I literally have it turned up. already proven wrong by the trailer. The he got it super low. But let me just reiterate from what I played. Yes. Peter has new web swing Let me see. animations. And they are sweet. The air tricks felt fairly similar to what Miles is actually able to do that we recognize from Spider-Man Miles Morales. And a lot of those animations and air tricks are back in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Yeah, he it's just, he just got it low. Peter he just have it low. Flips. He does some cool I got everything turned up to 100. A lot of fun. Speaking of traversal, I don't want to talk in hyperbole here, okay? But I genuinely mean it. In the limited amount of time that I had with Marvel Spider-Man 2, I think right now that the web wings might be my all-time favorite traversal mechanic in any video game ever think about all the stuff you love about the batman arkham glide okay you know dive bombing towards the street and then just pulling up at the last possible second you're pretty much skidding right up mm, angle that imagine. zip was crazy all that fun stuff but you're also spider-man i don't know i don't know how insomniac did it these guys are freaking wizards man but i was having an absolute blast with the web wings those wind tunnels are placed in yeah i haven't i haven't turned up i just he's just talking low he's just talking low that's all i mean he got the the volume for the video itself is low it's just an unbelievable amount of fun and it's a simple button press too you're web swinging around doing some air tricks press triangle boom the web wings are out and then you can do all your fun stuff and go right back into a web swing or into some air tricks if you'd like There's mid air dodges that you can do and also if you hold down and then circle he's gonna pull out the web wings and then stop himself so if you see a random crime or maybe a collector oh so you can stop yourself while you in the thing by pressing circle or fight the crime and i don't even think i need to talk about this too much but man this game looks pretty my goodness they are taking advantage of the playstation 5 that much is for sure there's just something about it when you look at the gameplay from marvel spider-man 2 and then compare it with the gameplay in spider-man miles morales even on the ps5 or marvel holy look at that gameplay and it's saturation that's in Marvel Spider-Man 2 that just makes it look that much better. Not to mention the character models, the textures, the lighting. I think particularly the nighttime setting in Marvel Spider-Man 2 looks leagues better than the way it looked in the previous two games. Rest assured, they are taking advantage of every little bit of the power that the PlayStation 5 offers with this game. You already know all the upgrades that combat's gotten in Marvel okay, Spider-Man 2. Okay. It's a lot of fun when you got your hands on the controller, stringing together your regular attacks that you recognize and you remember from the last okay so miles can do the wall thing too okay so it's just not to peter okay bet so much fun and what i found most interesting about that is that those special attacks aren't just going to be symbiote attacks at one point in the game you can choose if you want some symbiote attacks and then as well some attacks with you can choose as well if you want to switch out all oh look at the range on that iron arm special attacks or just symbiote attacks of course with miles it's the range on that is crazy abilities but there's a lot to explore there and i'm very much looking forward to getting my hands on the full game to see what sort of different things you can combine what things are best to mix and match the iron arms are a lot of fun and they're pretty powerful and they're not too intrusive in the gameplay the symbiote attacks i mean you already know that's the power fantasy mm. that we're looking for out of marvel spider-man 2 being able to take control of that symbiote and utilize it to its fullest potential and i think that best describes exactly what insomniac did in this game i missed the first inbuilt ability for real you like to use that 
people and it's a attacks aren't just going to be symbiote attacks at one point in the game oh that little spike oh okay you're gonna sit there hold on hold on hold on let me go there and i'm very go much back. looking forward to getting my hands on the full game to see what sort of different things you can combine what things are best to mix and match the iron arms are a lot of fun and they're pretty powerful and they're not too intrusive in the gameplay the symbiote attacks i mean you already know that's the power fantasy that we're looking for out of marvel spider-man 2 being able to take control of that symbiote dude you you see that spider that logo at the top i need to see if we can swap bro i need to see that i need to see it dog nailed what it would feel like to use that power it's brutal man it is very visceral some of those attacks you're gonna sit there and be like my symbiote God, surge to that poor dude so suffice to say the symbiote suit in marvel spider-man 2 is pretty much perfect another interesting thing worth noting about the symbiote suit or i guess the alternate suits in general within marvel spider-man 2 is that your symbiote abilities aren't specifically tied to the symbiote suit essentially nice the symbiote suit in marvel spider-man 2 is just an alternate costume if you want you can use the advanced suit 2.0 and still use the symbiote abilities you can of nice. course use the raimi suit from spider-man 3 and use the symbiote abilities nice. note, i got to use the raimi suit from spider-man 3 of the symbiote abilities that was awesome and i just in general think that that's a really good way to do it that way you know hey if i really like the advanced suit i don't want to lose that because it's tied to the story that way i can still just yeah you can use the symbiote with the that's I, that's a nice addition i like that fun symbiote abilities. or maybe you know i like the symbiote suit in spider-man 2 but i'm not the biggest fan of the symbiote ability i ain't gonna let that wall thing <laughs> <laughs> that wall thing is so tough it is so tough everything oh and one of the really cool things that you get to do with the symbiote suit in this game is that you get to have basically like a rage meter similar to oh okay no you fill up this meter click in the i thought he was about to say you can swap transforms and then it the logo on the now transformed symbiote suit actually looks fairly similar to the venom logo and then mm. when you're in this mode, it's like two attacks against an enemy and then you do a crazy takedown oh. <laughs> again think the rage mode from the god of War dog marvel spider-man 2 it's perfect and what's really oh cool as well is that if you're just using the advanced suit 2.0 and then you activate the rage it almost feels like you know you're transforming into the black suit on the fly the alternate suits are pretty damn great wait 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 you already saw in the trailer yesterday that there are plenty of suits wait 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 transforming sir? venom logo and then when you and you pretty much just go berserk again think the rage mode from the god of war games but now implemented into marvel spider-man 2 it's perfect and what's really cool about it as well is that if you're just using the advanced suit 2.0 and then you activate the rage it almost feels like you know you're transforming into the black suit on the fly the alternate suits are pretty oh. damn great in this game and you oh, no. the yesterday that there are plenty of suits from the previous two games that are returning here but the additive now is that there are so he said for the suits in this game. if you got the advanced suit on when you activate the rage mode notice that one of the color variants you swap automatically to the black suit so that the blue on the suit is actually black so it's like a black and red advanced suit and i know a lot of people are going to be very happy when they see that but then also i need to see it in gameplay dog i need to see i need to see that part in gameplay of, that color variant makes it pop that much more and of course all the other bells and whistles you're already aware of you know there are three skill trees in the game one for peter one for miles and then the shared skill tree for yeah both of the spider man and there's also a ton of ways that you can up upgrade both of the characters their gadgets and so on the open world is a massive in this game and there's an unimaginable amount to explore considering as well the fact that it is almost double in size from the last two games you're not even going to believe how much there is to see the random crimes that i was encountering mm. around the open world were pretty much the same from the last two games there were mm. some minor tweaks to them the car chases were a bit different but some of them were just you know your standard mugging or breaking and entering just okay a bunch of so things. we got the What's same really crimes cool this, though, uh, that's that tough sometimes you'll go into a random crime that's happening and miles or peter whatever it might be depending on which character you're playing as will be there as well and fighting the criminals alongside you Sometimes that you is fire there's quite a few things happening on screen you can do random crimes and miles could just pop up goes into a dual takedown where peter and miles work together it's just unbelievable that so is fire surprise was a side mission where you're collecting a whole bunch of spider bots and actually at the event they had some of these spider bots you know one of them was Will be like a shocker spider bot or one of them will be Evan, like wait oh what's up with evan's video holy hey, we gotta watch we're gonna watch that after this might actually be a side quest 
that makes Spider-Verse canon within the Marvel Spider-Man games. The animation of the effect that pulsates from one of the Spider-Bots when you find them in the open world is very similar in the art style that we see from the Spider-Verse movies. There are some Spider-Bots nice. that are Spider-Verse character specific. You know, there's a Penny Parker Spider-Bot or there's a Spider-Gwen Spider-Bot or even the Spider-Man Noir Spider-Bot actually has the fedora, you know, like how he looked in those movies but beyond mm. that beyond the spider-verse so we got spider-verse these days with genki after i collected enough of them where genki said hey i'm trying to ping who's placing these spider bots around the city and it's saying to me here that that person is millions of miles away peter's like oh there's no way that this person is in deep space leaving these spider bots around the city so maybe they're just messing with your signal try and figure out who it is and then it clicked with me that art style that's pulsating mm. when you see them around the city the fact that it's from someone a million miles away yeah that's why diverse somebody from another dimension the specialist somebody yeah how big is the spoiler how big is the spoiler one out of ten i need to know to collect them all so i don't know the resolve of this side mission but i think it's awesome that that might end up happening and when i played the last two spider-man games i had one major nitpick and i think honestly this was a nitpick that a lot of people had and i feel insomniac took that feedback in stride and that was the boss battles the last two games kind of had the boss battle structured where you're just dodging a whole bunch and then you find an opening to attack the enemy a 10 spider-man 2 i had the chance oh look at whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Good dog it, was it looked like he has two health meters it looked like he has two health meters uh for the for the lizard so we got like two phases one of the most engaging enthralling and crazy set pieces for a boss battle that i've seen in a long time from a game and a lot of that has to do with the fact that there's oh look at that parry very mechanic within marvel spider-man 2 but also the boss had a health bar thank you finally i can keep nice how far into the fight I look at that oh my damage. god that is not that is That's nice was sorely missing from the first two games and i wanted to say that is nice story until the very end of this video because again minor spoilers for anybody if you don't want to know about anything this is spoilers this is spoilers so i'm telling you he said it's a spoiler if you don't want to know this i will advise <laughs> mute i i don't do whatever you gotta do man do whatever you gotta do but i'm gonna watch it <laughs> i'm gonna watch it me you know i'm gonna I'm watch it now is your last chance. Okay, you guys still here? Oh, I'm I'm giving y'all I'm giving y'all five. I'm giving y'all ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right. The first cutscene that we got to witness when we got our hands on with this game was a cutscene between Peter and his symbiote suit confronting Kraven. And I am telling you right now, this is one of the best Spider-Man scenes ever. Spider-Man has a deep rogues gallery, all right? Let's not mess around here. We know that there are a lot of really cool villains that Spider-Man has faced off against. Kraven, though, he's one of the tippy top. And his motive has always been fairly simple. He's just a guy mm. who wants the hunt. He wants the greatest challenge. And this confrontation that he has with Peter, it's oh my god i i cannot phrase it enough from a performance standpoint animation direction writing all of it it's firing on all cylinders if craven has been your boy if that's your favorite spider-man villain this game is going to blow your freaking mind that confrontation is cutscene with peter and harry and you find out well at this point in the story harry knows that peter is spider-man harry knows that peter has the symbiote and it makes me really what? wonder how we got to this point because once again our time our hands-on with marvel spider-man 2 they actually threw us a couple of hours into the game so i still don't even know how peter obtains the symbiote suit and as well what those interactions look like between peter and harry leading up to this point in the game but it is wow that without that symbiote harry is dying and 
unfortunately, Kurt Connors was the guy who was treating him, and now he's the lizard. You head over to Kurt Connors' house, you actually find out through some security cam footage that Lizard did have the lab coat, okay? He, he was wearing it. It just rips off because he gets so big. You guys called it on that one, all right? I apologize. Mm. I'm just nitpicking. I get it, all right? You hated me for that. I'm sorry. And then from there, we pretty much got to play the PlayStation Showcase demo that you saw, except it was pretty extended, and there were quite a few scenes that weren't in the actual PlayStation Showcase demo. It's pretty much similar to what Insomniac had done in the past with the marketing for their games. Just think back what they did with that E3 demo with the Sinister Six. It wasn't okay, that but... different. There was just a couple of extended moments and some more to the gameplay bits of it. I feel like they just condensed okay. it for the sake of it being marketing material. But it was just so much fun, you know, going into the sewers, mm. fighting the lizard, having that boss battle take place, and then blasting out of the that looks... and chasing him through the streets of New York City. All the meanwhile, Peter is starting to succumb to the effects of the symbiote and is just getting angrier. It's just so cool. I'm telling you, Marvel Spider-Man 2 has Game of the Year material written all over it. It has best superhero game of all time material written all over it. If they stick the landing when this full game comes out next month on October 20th, it may honestly be the best superhero game ever made. I know usually when we talk about things like this, I try to tell you guys, hey, keep your expectations in check. You know, don't get too overly hyped. You don't want to set massive expectations. But no, I went to this event with very, very astronomical. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Tenfold. That okay, is fire. I get my hands on the full game on October 20th, but now I'm seriously foaming at the mouth to get my hands on it next month. There's still so much to talk about. I really feel like I haven't even scratched the surface of my time with the game. There's so much that I want to tell you guys about. So we're going to continue the conversation. Lots of more videos to come. But until then, now let me kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comment section. W, below. W, Marvel Spider Man 2, even more. W, 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 for sure.